Monday, March 30th, 2015 through the Arlington Redevelopment Board. First on our agenda this evening is a considering the adoption of the Open Space Plan update. Uh, from the Open Space Plan Committee, we have Ann LaRoyer here. Uh, and if you could take a seat up here and tell us a little bit about the plan and what you're asking us to consider. Okay. Well, many of you probably have been to this before. It's a kind of a a ritual thing that comes up. It used to be every five years, now it's every seven years. But uh, So this plan is covering a period from 2015 to 2022. And it is basically an update of the 2007 plan, which um, then it was, was for five years, to seven to 12, and then it was, um, we got an extension from the state. It's the State um, Division of um, Conservation Services in e ELEEA that actually approves the, these plans because they're it's part of a state um, regulation. So, um, but we want both letters of support, which we have to put into the plan eventually, um, once those are received from various different committees. And I'm, later, I'm actually going to the Board of Selectmen tonight, so I will have to leave about quarter of eight to get down there in time to talk to them about <laughs> this as well. But so. One thing we're asking is, is for eventually to have a letter of support that will be incorporated into the plan, as, and that's been the case for past years as well. Um, and so are the Board of Selectmen, the CONCOM, Park and Rec, and, and the MPAC, and APC um, will get letters then. So the plan, um, like as I said, it's um, updating the plan that was done in 2007 and extended to 2014. And uh, so a lot of it is updated, but obviously there's a lot that's happened in town since 2007. And chapter two, if you had a chance to look at it, is list law of the accomplishments. Um, not all, I shouldn't say all, because it's too much to itemize every single item. But you know, many of the accomplishments, especially related to um, some of the key uh, properties in town and key things as far as invasives and water bodies and just natural resource protection in general. Um, so that's one important chapter. Um, chapter chapters three and four are more or less um, uh, documentation of the, the town as it is, the soils and environmental conditions and things like that. So a lot of those were updated, population data, of course. Uh, but a lot of that was just, um, it hasn't changed drastically. And then uh, chapter five highlights um, the major properties around town, both open space natural areas as well as recreation areas. It's, it's technically called the open space and recreation plan, so it definitely incorporates both types of spaces and uh, facilities. Um, so there um, we have you know a lot of maps, and Adam Korowski was fantastic working with us to develop some of these new maps and uh, both town-wide maps as well as the site maps that are there in chapter five for each of the different properties um, and then six seven and eight chapters those chapters kind of talk about needs um, in the town mm -hmm. and of course we um, relied a lot on the master plan um, to get information <coughs> that um, had been compiled for that purpose. And we tried you know, to integrate information and have everything be comp complementary at least, um, supplemental to each other. So there's information there that um, having to do with needs for special populations and so forth. And then chapter nine, um, which I guess you just was circulated, that's the, um, the actual plan part. That's like the implementation part of the master plan. Um, which itemizes specific actions, most of which are more or less ongoing. There's, there's not really, there aren't really time limits to most of these activities because they're having to do with you know, collaboration among different town departments and you know, maintenance of, of properties and parks and sports fields and all that stuff. I mean, those you know, just have to keep going on. But, but there are some, um, some more specific uh, goals and objectives there. NUGAR certainly is, uh, is one of the key ones under the first, the first goal is acquisition and protection of land, so that shows up there. Um, most of the others have to do with um, 
maintenance and um, protection of natural resources, water bodies, breaks out different types of um, lands and waters. Then there's a section on um, coordination within the town and within the region, like MWRA and um, Mystic River Watershed and so forth. Um, there's all the various town properties that we have that overlap with Lexington we were talking about before. Um, you know, there's there's always more that can be done to improve communications, uh, both within the town and within the, the region, to plan for uh, our needs and our concerns about how these different resources are being used and taken care of, and outside impacts. Climate. There's we added a new goal this year having to do with sort of um, sustainability and climate change and to just and again working with some of the language that was in the master plan um, to kind of highlight that as a factor in how we plan for and maintain these properties in, you know, for the future. So those are those are some of the highlights I guess, but I'm happy to try to answer questions. Or, Bruce? Um, I have a couple questions, and I guess the first question, uh, what you're asking the board to do is write a letter of support in regard to the open space plan, or is it an yes. endorsement, or uh, well, technically a there's two. I guess there's two different things, actually. One is we do need a, a letter mm -hmm. that would, um, and you can find the, get the letter from the last year's plan just to look and see what the language was, I guess something, you know, it's pretty generic. It's not mm -hmm. that detailed or anything. But then I think the other factor is that um, because of what's happening with MUGAR, there, there's a, if, I mean, when the ARB, as the planning agency, adopts the open space plan, it become, also becomes town policy. Um, the, um, the open space committee adopted the plan last week at our meeting on Thursday, just technically to make it official. The Board of Selectmen, again, they don't have a, an official role in adopting or endorsing or whatever the proper language would be. Mm -hmm. It's the state that has to approve the plan. Um, but again, by whatever actions you take and the, the Board of Selectmen take, as well as um, the Open Space Committee, it, it becomes part of town policy. So <clears throat> if we were to endorse the plan or support the plan um, and I, I want to put this into the context of a hypothetical and not single out any particular mm -hmm. parcel in town but just hypothetically dream up an open space parcel that might be uh, on the market mm -hmm. um, would the redevelopment board I mean is in, in saying that open space preserving open space is a priority is it is it a priority that eliminates all other possibilities for the land? Not necessarily, no, I don't think so. I mean, it, it, it's um, one of the changes that we made was having to, was acknowledging, looking at lands that have specific conservation and recreation value that may be mm -hmm. next to other already protected lands or, you know, there's, except for the obvious, <laughs> there's, you know, anything that's left in town that's, not ever been developed is so small. Mm -hmm. I mean, Millbrook Corridor is certainly an area, but it's highly developed. It doesn't mean that it's just <coughs> open space, but, but that, that whatever open space and natural resource concerns there might be or opportunities that there would be, that those would be seriously taken into account. And um, I don't think it's it's not meant to be exclusive at all. It's just to try to raise the awareness of you know the need for open space in a small town like ours, and um, but recognizing that there's very very little right. that's available right. even to worry about, <laughs> um, but to take advantage of where little parcels or things that might come up that that might um, mm -hmm. you know be able to be added on to something adjacent that would really enhance use of it and protection. But just to sort of play a little bit of devil's advocate mm -hmm. here, in the event that you know, if the the de the decision on the on land use were to come before this board, mm -hmm. um, and the view of the board members was that this particular 
hypothetical parcel might be better suited to some form of development, mm -hmm. um, perhaps a, what we would hope would be a sensitive development to the other uh, important objectives that we're, that we're looking at, mm -hmm. we're not precluded from saying, okay, well, in this particular instance, Just this parcel okay. makes more sense to add on to another parcel that's being developed in some form. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think it's meant to be exclusive in any way, okay. or um, it's not, I mean, it's, it's just like the, open, the master plan, it's kind of, it's a, it's a blueprint policy vision of just trying to acknowledge what we have and mm -hmm. uh, protect what we have, maintain what we have, but look for opportunities that, that might be appropriate, but you're right, sometimes, you know, an area, even along, obviously, along Mill Brook, there's areas that are not, that are kind of natural right now, but they, some of them might be better to be, you know, built up as part of a development that goes along the brook, but is, mm -hmm. I don't know, I mean, they're, they're not, they're, I mean, anything that's zoned open space, obviously, is protected. Right. Um, all these other kind of little small orphan parcels, you know, right, that right. exist, I mean, there's, no, there's, there's no mandate here that says if it's not developed, it can never be developed. That's not, okay. that's not the idea at all, I don't think. It's not prescriptive. No. Thanks. I don't think, I mean, I'm not sure that it's ever come up recently anyway. I don't know. I mean, the only other, the major site that, that was protected that's not going to be developed is Elizabeth Island, but that's a special case also. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Sims, obviously, there was a lot of development there, but we were also able to carve out some very nice open space. So, right. you know, that's the kind of balancing, appropriate balancing compromise yeah. and, you know, kind of common sense opportunity to take advantage of things that, that makes, um, you know, that, that's to the benefit of the town. Okay, great. Thanks. Yeah, so as a planning board, I think we will be asked to adopt it, not only write the yes. letter of support, right? right. Okay. <clears throat> um, I just have some more process type questions mm -hmm. than anything else. So you've been, obviously, I mean, it's a great document, it's a lot of work, everything else. What was your process in, in, in drafting it and, and, uh, 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 and approving it and that type of thing? Did you, did you have public comment? Did you, like, what, what happened with that piece of it? Well, um... It is an update of the previous yeah. plan, like I said. Um, our The committee is made up of representatives from the Park and Rec, the CONCOM, Cemetery Commission, uh, DPW, um, you know, other groups in town. And um, we, because the master plan was happening at the same mm -hmm. time, and I happen to be on the master plan advisory committee, um, that was very handy. <laughs> and right. um, so there was, we kind of adopted that whole public process as, as part of our own to, to kind of integrate the two processes together. Um, the other new bit of information that we um, were able to get was the um, uh, 2020 Vision, the Vision 2020 mm -hmm. survey in 2014 had a specific section about open space that we worked closely with them to um, develop questions that we thought would help us in this plan. Um, both to um, look at need, um, there, there was a question about what kinds of resources do, does the town have enough of or not enough of, um, and that's in the appendix, the results of that survey. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Um, and you probably saw it before too, last fall, last spring when it came out. Um, so that was, that was another source, and then um, because the master plan was happening and there were all the public meetings associated with that, we didn't have our own set of separate okay. meetings, but the, we had um, a series of meetings within the open space and natural resources part of the master plan that I was involved in and others, others were as well. So we, again, kind of piggybacked the right, information Right, so this dovetails in with yeah. what, you, what you've done. Exactly, there. so we okay. felt it was you know, really important that the two plans yeah. you know, match or complement each other and address the same kinds of issues, so. Okay. Um, um, and then <clears throat> on process too, I, I guess the one thing, if, if I were to look at it, that I think, and I heard what you said and I, I agree with it, is I guess I'm just surprised on the implementation plan that there's there's not much distinction between short-term, mid-term, and long-term Yeah. on 
almost everything. Right. Uh, it's just only a few things. And I guess given resources and that type of thing, I guess I'm a little bit surprised by that. That you know maybe we didn't take a little harder look at you know some of the things. And are we really going to get to that in 15 and 16, mm -hmm. given everything else mm -hmm. that we're working on? Yeah, no, I, I think that's fair. We we talked about that ourselves and saying that wow, this is really kind of big. I mean, it's it's like all of these things we want to try to do, but how do we break them into manageable chunks that can be accomplished within a time frame and you know a lot of it's hard to do that I mean we one of the things that we've um, we've started now that this is going to be almost over <laughs> um, we're already starting to talk about projects that the committee will start to actually work on you know now that we can start yep. you know going through this list and, and trying to start to accomplish some off. of yeah. these things and um, one of them is about the inventory, um, and that overlaps with the master plan as well. During sort of, and, and the, I guess the water bodies, people that are involved with the water bodies also want to, are doing an inventory of, of that. So that that's something that'll be should be mm -hmm. fairly um, short term. <coughs> um, another thing that we want to do is to take um, the maps and the descriptions, a lot of what's in chapter five and get those up onto the website in a way that people can access them like with their smartphones or you know download the maps mm -hmm. or you know access rather than i mean we will put the whole thing up on as, as a big you know, pdf file that people can look at but that's a little daunting so we want to try to break up the you know information um, to make it more accessible yeah. to people yeah. so that's another could be a short-term goal that's probably under the I think it's number four you know, yep. having to do with public education and things like that um, yeah, I, I mean, I guess that's, if, if I had only, if I had uh, one constructive criticism, I think it would be that, uh, you know, because um, things like um, implement zoning and other bylaws to ensure that Arlington residential areas, commercial centers, and infrastructure are developed in harmony with future natural resource needs. You know, I, I can understand you, the implement is the tough word there for, for kind of a short term, I mean, you're in town meeting, you know, right, you know right. 15's gone, right. 16's, 16's going to be gone. Our committee eight, to eight, design these things. Eight, exactly. You know, we have to bend on lots of other town exactly. departments or other, you know, friends groups that are very helpful with doing some things about you know, maintenance and yeah. so forth. But, you know, dealing with invasives, I mean, that's, that's forever. <laughs> yeah, it's ongoing. <laughs> yeah. And certainly the things that say support, so, you know, yeah. and encourage, I definitely understand. It's yeah. it's more the actual oh, action right, items implement, implement or see. something well, like that. So I, maybe some of I that kind of wish we had. To revisit that. Yeah, I, I was, well, I um, think we're probably a little bit late on this one, but um, well, but no, I guess we can we're still we can still do okay. you know, minor editing, and if there's specific ones that that you. Are, are wondering about we can we can edit them. We've got I mean, that list of things that you have, and I've, I've been continuing to proofread this, and you know I keep finding little problems. Yeah. And there's some formatting problems that you may have noticed. But, yeah. um, mm -hmm. Also, that's those will be taken care of. That was uh, that has to do with the, the file format, um, but those will be those will be fixed certainly before it's circulated any more widely. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I was really <laughs> distressed when I saw these all these. Missing letters and yeah. mm -hmm. um, strange. Yeah, it looked like they did. Yeah, it almost looked like it. It's because it's a low res PDF file. Is that what it is? And so I it just didn't they, pick it up. When they compressed it, those things just it, dropped out. It, well, when I, I, I was looking at the Word document as well, and they were all in there. So <coughs> I think it's just a matter of you know making sure. Yeah, that's, that's I just have to work with um, BHB that's doing you know the, some of the logistics for us. So they, they'll have to fix that. Right. But if you have any of the specific um, uh, elements here that actually in the action plan, then when you think the language isn't quite right, um, we're, we're happy to change it. Yeah. Um, I, I think the only one I'd have is the implement zoning and other bylaws which, on 584, 584 on page 131. I, look, I'll, I'll just bring it up. There are a few I might. I might try to remove the X on a short term, but if you say um, support or encourage, maybe encourage zoning and other bylaws to ensure sure. that, you know, to me, that's a little bit 
more in the wheelhouse of what. Um, I mean, we could even add into that box um, in uh, in collaboration or something or whatever. One of the words. well, no, you've got the arm and the DPW. Plan. Oh yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, in, I like that. In, in, that makes in more sense to me. Collaboration or in, in yeah. concert with the master yeah. plan. Exactly, in concert with them. I, I actually like that a lot. I mean, there's there are probably quite a few things that we could add that. Yeah, but clar I, clarification because then it really reinforces that it's part of a bigger townwide effort. It, I think that's right, but as I look through the different things, mm -hmm. the ones that once again as a town meeting yeah. member that that I look, it's like, well, wait a second, that's what we do, you yeah. know. So, so I think on that one. I, I'm okay if we make that change. I think. Right. Can, no, I can see that implement is we don't do the implementing. Yeah. But that's the responsible parties. I mean, that's where why so many of these things are just sort of ongoing because yeah. there's other groups that have to do with all these things. Yeah. Um, I guess that's what I had. So. Okay. Yeah. Andy, um, I'm glad you got the um, mill. Oh yeah, there's lots of stuff yeah. about the Mill Brook. Yeah, that's great. I mean, that's very a typical kind of park. It's not really a park, or at least people can't really imagine it as such, because it's broken into tiny little pieces where right. it, it picks up and then it becomes completely unrecognizable, happens to run through a residential neighborhood, then it picks up again and you get little pieces right. of it. So right. the idea that you could continue to look for ways to enhance that even well and the, again the master plan was very strong about you know looking at that and, and you know as a way to to think about mixed use development in the future and so forth right. and I, I think again it goes all in concert together to to try to um, take advantage of the open space resources the open areas the, the waterways that are there as well as the opportunities for you know, building on what development is there, but improving the quality of what kind of activities are happening. It's good. There. I mean, you mentioned the Millbrook study area, which we kind of we defined the ARB mm -hmm. voted or at least uh, we did. indicated, yeah, mm -hmm. which helped indicate that it's a that the zone should be looked at as one big thing. Mm -hmm. And it speaks to your point of you might develop very strongly larger sites within the Millbrook district or Millbrook area and then in exchange for other areas becoming more green so it, it could be looking right. at it holistically it's not like you have to have one size fits all solutions for that whole area no and I mean the town owns I think it's about a third of the the areas abutting like around the reservoir and some of the um, playing fields yes and mm -hmm. heard of course high school it's underwater but uh, it's channelized Coast hollow the, yeah. the cemetery I mean so those places are not going to be developed per se, but there's plenty of other places, you know, in between that can be, you know, redeveloped to, to make the links much stronger and to yeah. accentuate what's there. And I, th I mean, I think in the long term, if we can somehow recognize, and I think this helps recognize the importance of that mm -hmm. Millbrook zone to the town. Yeah. That each time a development is made, we can weigh weigh in those concerns. So exactly. Yeah. It might be just a very small gesture to it in some cases. Larger. Yeah, but I mean, at Brigham, you know, they did a nice job to. That's a great example. Yeah. And the, the um, that was kind town. of a wetland that they developed. The, mm -hmm. the, um, the that was town on pocket. And so forth. Pocket yeah. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. Is there? I don't have the map with me. I just have this blow up that's in this section. But they, all of the little pieces that we own as a town are on there, right? Yes, there's... Um, it's hard to see. Yes, Matt, you don't see it. No, it was in the... Well, there's... Um, that's the... It's the beginning of Chapter 5, I believe. Um, let me see if I can find it. I don't have it with me. But I think it's on there. I've uh, seen it. I think I've seen it before. Like that that one at Brattle, at the corner of Brattle and Dudley. There's lots of tiny little places. Yeah, it's on page um, 69. Let's see that. And that gets... Does that have every single minutia? Well, I don't know that it, it has all of the com -com, little tiny yeah. com, com areas. It doesn't, have the, yeah, it doesn't have the little brattle one there, for instance. Um, I don't think. No, the one that's across the street. What do you mean? Dudley, the corner brattle. of Dudley and Brattle. I believe that's the corner. Seven is, seven is Wellington Park. That's, well, that's Grove Street. Right. Yeah, these are more um, the middle ones. 
Yeah, these these are the ones that we highlighted the the, num the numbered places. There are a few little small ones, but as yeah, you know, there's lots. There, there, there's lots of town. I don't know if it's town on. It's if you go along Dudley, Dudley mm -hmm. and you you, oh. you go up to Brattle oh, and you take a left. Is it Brattle? It's not Grove. Yeah, it's the it's next. Brattle. Yeah, Brattle. There's a site there that's all along the brook. It's got parking. It's not. And yes, that. But that's. I believe that's owned by that one of those. Um, uh, is it? Buildings. Is it? It's, it's not, not townland. Town. No, that's not townland. Because that's a good one to keep an eye on. Because it really oh. feels like it enhances that. Right. That's exactly, and it connects down to Wellington Brook. I mean, it, it connects. It, it's pretty much open all the way from Brattle to Grove Street. That was one of the places that we highlighted in our report that oh, from good. 2010. That that's one of the few relatively yeah. long stretches that still looks kind of natural. Feels, I mean, it's abutted yeah, yeah. by houses on one side yeah. and parking lots, and there's a little bridge over it. That, mm -hmm. um, yep, I that think little that wooden was bridge. The Renaissance, is it the Renaissance? The Rembrandt. Rembrandt. Rembrandt that yeah. put over. But um, the far the side, course. the north side, is backs up to Dudley Street, mm -hmm. and it's quite steep yes. at, at sections of it. So it's really not accessible on that side. But on the Mass Ave side of the brook, it's relatively flat. But it is, my understanding is it's um, the land is owned by those. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm, I'm mistaken on that. I thought it might be. Yeah. I was wishful thinking there. Yeah, no, it is wishful thinking. <laughs> I mean, they might, you know, if if there was, you know, we got to the point where we really wanted to, you know, try to install a pedestrian pathway or something through there, maybe the town could get an easement from those um, owners or some something that or would just a preservation of it because the view from that bridge going that way mm -hmm. going that direction mm -hmm. is so enhanced by having that as open space yeah. even if you yeah. don't have it accessible yeah anyway that's a detail I guess. yeah but I mean except for maybe the people that live in those buildings they don't people, most people don't know about that or right. don't, well it's it doesn't for them seem to. very um, open to yeah. I mean from the Wellington Park side you can walk a little bit. You can't get from, all the way through. Yeah. But you can't, yeah, it's, I mean, it's private property. You're not supposed to walk all the way through. I have walked all the way through, but, <laughs> but it's it not, works. I mean, yeah. Um, but, it, you know, again, if, if it were, you know, to become a part of a <coughs> project right. that, you know, right. if it came up. would become part of, you know, a, a, a section of a linear park, what's called linear park, you know, a walkway that even if it wasn't, a lot of work done on it, but just made that was made public right. somehow, or you know, with, an, with an easement of some kind. Then sure. that would be great. What other kinds of new things have come into it? You mentioned some when you reviewed Chapter Nine, but uh, what are the are new new aspects of the open space? Like Mill got a little bit more. I know oh, that because yeah. I was interested in it personally. But right, because we did a lot of work a few got? years ago. Um, well, Elizabeth Island, that yep. came up over this past seven years. Um, Sims, of course, we're right. getting the CR on that and getting the parks and the woods protected there. There's a little um, site over by Spy Pond. That's, did, that, did that get in there? It's already in there. The public space that we own just short of the stone bridge as you go through this. On Pond Lane. Yeah. That's oh, I think in. that was already town. That was already space. in there, yeah. That's, that's, um, I believe part of that's under the Park and Rec. Okay. Um, uh, no, there haven't, I mean, except for those, there haven't been any new, I mean, the Brigham's, in a way, is, is a new thing because the, certainly the area was enhanced because of the right. development that happened there and because of your work to make the developer, you know, do something, you know, that would um, enhance that area. Um, there was a little bit of work done around Old Schwa Mill, actually, mm -hmm. when they built that new um, bridge right, right. over Mill Lane. Yep. And there was a little bit of landscaping that was done. I mean, most of that was was already there, but it's been improved, improved a bunch. And, and um, the volunteers at the Old Schwa Mill are involved in helping to, to work on that landscape. Was there any change in the, in the Mugar um, coverage in the report, because it's always been, or at least the last two times we've approved it, it's been in there. Oh yeah, it's always been in there. And there's as no, a goal, I mean, since you know, so 60, the, 60 years ago. Amend that. Did you amend that in any way, or is um, that just way, the way it was? It's, it's, it's been updated a little bit, but um, and maybe strengthened a little bit to now that you know there's a 
new threat, but it, but you know, 2000, 2001, town meeting voted. To 2010, I guess you ARB voted mm -hmm. um, to adopt the the old open space plan, which had been just an oversight, I guess, and not having adopted it previously. Um, to again be sure that it was adopted by the planning board as town policy, I mean, the overall plan, which included statements about protecting it, the new government. Yeah, but there's an opportunity there, but again, it's not prescriptive, it's just saying. That right, of yeah. course, yeah, it's just saying that this is, you know, a floodplain and land that, um, you know, needs to be at least looked at in terms of the, the environmental um, impacts that development could have on it. As it borders on uh, public, you know, on uh, Arlington land. Right. Going back in. Yeah, and the impact on the neighborhood and on, on the, yeah, the other open space that's already there. Great. No, I don't have any other questions that weren't covered. Thank you. I think all my questions have been covered. So it's, a, it's very thorough, very comprehensive. I especially appreciate the <coughs> pieces on the reservoir in McClellan Park and, mm -hmm. and uh, Mount Kilboa. Um, that must be your neighbor. That is my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great area. Nice to learn a little bit more about where I live. But yeah, also, well, that's know, that's yeah. part of our goal with this, and and now with you know the new technology to try to get it broken up into little manageable pieces of information that people can download. So we hope to work with Adam and I guess Joan Roman or whoever you know whoever we need to work with mm -hmm. on the town website to so you can you know walk around and say oh you know what is this place anyway. <laughs> Try to work on signage, and I mean that's something that's again kind of long so term. Yeah. Park yeah. Rec yep. and DPW to try to just help people find their way around. Mm -hmm. um, I really like the idea of turning Mount Gilboa into a Vista Park. <laughs> <coughs> That'd be very nice to, to have to walk to. Um, no, but thank you for coming tonight and presenting. Oh, you're this very to welcome. Us. Thank you. Appreciate it. and support of the open space plan for 2015-2022 has revised by the open space committee on March 27, 2015 and subject to making the corrections as noted therein. I, oh, oh, you can correct that if I've got um, wrong the, references. It's a, um, the, if, if you want to do what Ann's asking you to do, you ought to consider uh, rewording the motion so that the board adopts the open space plan. It does say adopt and support. But this, I, I may, 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 have, may have misheard you, but I think you said in, endorses the adoption. Oh, uh, well, let me re rephrase. Okay. So, and um, please correct me if I'm misidentifying the plan, but the motion would be to uh, move that the ARB adopt and support the open space plan for 2015-2022 as revised by the Open Space Committee on March 27, 2015, and subject to making the corrections as noted therein. And I think the only thing I might add is, is um, and that the chairman can uh, sign a... I'd be authorized to, be authorized to sign, sign a letter, letter of support. Of support. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Okay. Please attack that on uh, my motion. Thank sure. you, Mr. Chair. Here, I think you know this, but it's Open Space and Recreation Plan is the formal name. And I uh, second that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Great. Now I can go down to the select and tell them that we've got to adopt it. <laughs> Four zero over here. Unanimous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very important document for this town. Well, it's, yeah, I mean, I think it, it, it is and, and may be um, <laughs> a very important um yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bruce, um, what was the verb you used for the um, Open Space Committee's action on March 27, 2015? Uh, has revised. Has revised. By the Open Space Committee. And just so you know, there'll be further 
revisions of minor edits and things like that. Those, I just wanted to get a couple of those in there that you would be aware of. But um, like I said, I'm continuing to proofread it and edit the, you know, so it'll be cleaned up and we'll make the change about the okay. one yep. factor about the uh, master plan and the zoning. Um, so there'll be a few other things like that, but nothing really majorly substantive. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to minutes from last week's. I had, I had no comments. I thought what? they were excellent. <laughs> it's a first. <laughs> I'm good with them. Likewise. Likewise. I'll, I'll uh, move to approve the minutes of March 23rd. I'll, I'll, second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Easy. Yeah. I'll. Uh, Anything else? I think that's on the agenda, unless anyone has any other business. I'll move uh, to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was it.